Welcome back to Up North at Four. We're now at Nicolay College, joined by a good pal of ours, Dwight Webb. And Dwight, I feel like typically when we meet, we're in the studio, we're all buttoned up, we're looking schnazzy, we're on the couch. Now we're uh, in not that location. Why are we in the auto lab right now, Dwight? What's going on this week? Might get a little bit dirty today. That's fine with me. Uh, so we have a cool event going on this mm -hmm. week. It's Wednesday, April 12th from 4 to 6, and potential students, current students, and people seeking jobs in the area of automotive and manufacturing, so welding, industrial mechanical programs at Nicolay. Yeah. Can come here, check out the auto lab, all the, the cool tools um, and information that you can get at oh, Nicolay perfect. that helps you get employment into any of those industries. So this is sort of a mix of like a career fair, a workshop, there's all, like it's a three-in-one type of event is kind of what I'm hearing. It is, yeah, so potential students, People seeking employment in these mm -hmm. areas can come check out the programs we have. Okay. We're also going to have employers here. Okay. So we're going to have tables set up where you can talk with an employer to say, okay, you can go into the auto program, see what a job looks like after the program in Nicolay. So this is sort of like a hands-on experience uh, all in one here. And I, I just got to ask them, the idea behind this, just to kind of get all of these, I'm assuming mostly local businesses and, and shop owners, what have you, just to kind of get them in here and kind of have that connection, that one-on-one -on -one experience, because I could be wrong, so correct me here, Dwight, but I feel like when people think, oh, networking, you're thinking you're buttoned up, you got your suit jacket, your tie on, it's very white collar, but no, networking and making those connections, it happens even in the auto mechanic industry, right? Yeah, for sure, you come, come talk with the employers, network, um, let them know that you're interested in mm -hmm. a field like this and see what they have to offer as an employer okay. and what the college can help you gain skills Perfect. be employed there. So, yeah. so Dwight, I gotta come clean with you right now. I know nothing about cars <laughs> whatsoever, right? Something sure. goes wrong, the light comes on, I'm calling up the, the dealership saying, hey, what do I gotta do to fix this? So, let's say I walk in on Friday and I take a look around and go, you know what? This is always one of those things I wanted to learn more about. Could, would you guys accept someone like me who's a complete and utter novice when it comes to vehicles? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. So okay. we've had students come in with experience, mm -hmm. transfer in some of those skills that they already gained, whether in the workforce or at a different college. Perfect. And students who just want to learn about automotive. So we yeah. have the classes in a flexible format. They can come in and work in labs. Mm -hmm. They're Tuesday through Thursday for the auto program come in at your own time, work at your own pace. You can take as many classes or as few classes as you want or in different areas. So if you want to learn brakes, mm -hmm. you can come and take a brakes class. Okay, okay. So what I'm hearing then as well, Dwight, is I can do the four o'clock show, be all buttoned up, and then just right after I'm gonna zip over to Nicolet and take classes at night and it fits in my schedule? That's right. Well, beautiful. So, yep. all right, obviously a lot of people I'm sure are excited to hear more about this event and it's happening on Wednesday. What time is that happening and where could they find more info? And actually, where's the event being held? Yeah, good question. So the event is Wednesday, mm -hmm. April 12th, from four to six. Okay. In the White Pine Center, which is this building and this lab mm -hmm. um, for the auto program, and then the Birchwood Center, uh, four to six for welding, industrial mechanical um, programs as well. We also give you food, so if you're hungry, come on out, grab some. It's food. right during my dinner time, so that works out right? perfectly. There we go. And then we're giving us some door prizes. So mm -hmm. if you're interested um, in some tools, we're giving away some tools for any of anybody who comes and registers. Perfect. They can find all the information on our website, and if they're interested, um, register. Um, so we know you're coming so we can kind of plan for that. Awesome. Well, Dwight, this sounds like a great event and I wish you guys the best of luck with that. And you know, we're here in the automotive lab right now. So I feel like when in Rome, you know, I got to see what I can do with a drill in my hand here. Yeah. So I'm going to see uh, what they can teach me here. Keep in mind, I know nothing about cars, but we're going to find out next on Up North at 4. Welcome back to Up North at Four. I'm joined now by Chris, who is one of the automotive instructors here at Nicolet College. And so, Chris, uh, I don't know if you heard me mention to Dwight just a few moments ago, I know nothing about cars, all right? You can call me out, call me a loser, call me all the words you want in the book, but I know nothing. But I do know that I should know something about cars, right? Yeah. And so I feel like a very basic uh, task that most people should know how to do is how to change a tire. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So seeing as how you are one of the instructors, I feel like I should just learn from one of the pros here. 
how do I change a tire? I feel like we should just start there. So if you want to demonstrate for me and kind of teach me step by step and we'll see if I can do it. Does that sound good? That sounds great. All right. All right. So how do we start? Where do we begin here? Okay. Chris? We're going to, we're going to grab a impact. Okay. And uh, the lug nuts are going to take a 21 millimeter socket. Okay. So we're going to set the impact to reverse. Uh huh. And then we're going to go and remove the lug nuts. Yeah, I'm just gonna like I say I'm gonna set it on the bench. Um, now I, I have to say, Chris, you did that exceptionally fast. Is that just years of practice, or what's going on? These these new impacts. <laughs> they just they go. Okay. Now if you're alongside the road, you'd probably be looking at the the jack and the tire iron in your trunk. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Chris. I don't I don't really have one of these in my car, so yeah. I, I get a flat along the highway, but. For this exercise, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll use modern technology, right? So, tire's off. Obviously, let's assume this is uh, the replacement here. Yep. What happens now? What happens next? We're doing our best to line it up on uh, five studs. Okay. On the, the spindle. Uh huh. So, we're going to grab our tire. And that thing should just kind of connect in, fit into yep. the holes here. Yep, and I'll kind of just let it there so it doesn't fall. Then we'll grab our lug nuts. Yeah. So, so far, Chris, I feel like I'm, I'm following here, which is a good sign for me. Yes. Next step, I'm going to tighten these, but I'm not going to really rattle them down. I'm just mm -hmm. going to tighten them. Just enough Smart. that I can drive off. Because these impacts can way exceed the torque of the lug nut, what it's supposed to be, the, the torque value. And there's a correctly torqued wheel. And we're good to roll, is what we I'm are. hearing. We well, are. That's beautiful. All right, Chris, so uh, I know this is a very quick demonstration, but I feel like I've absorbed a lot up here. Do we think uh, I have what it takes to change one of these bad boys? I think so. Should we give it a go? Let's go. Let's do it. <sighs> You want to say a quick prayer for me? <laughs> In your head, that's fine too. Oh, I lost that one. That's not good. That's really not good. All right. Yeah, get him from there. We go. And this bad boy's coming off. Hey, all right. We got halfway through, Chris. It wasn't pretty, but it's off. You did good. Is there anything I missed? Any any things you noticed that I should keep note of? Look good. If that's, uh, is that okay. the first tire you've changed? Is it bad if I admit yes? Then I'd say you did real good. Uh, all right, all right. That's all I needed to hear. Yep. Right. Pick this bad boy up. Uh, I'm getting a workout today, Chris. I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to shower after this, too. There Got a go. good sweat going. Lined up. There. I feel like I should ask whose car this is, Chris, but I'm also a little afraid to know. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Nicolay College's car. Okay, good. So, sorry, sorry, people in Nicolay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that good? What's, uh, now we're going to see. Now this one, you're at a little, pretty good. A little tight. Let's see what the torque is. Oh, God. I'm going to have you, uh, torque the tire now. Oh. Good. <sighs> Looks good. I did it. You did it. And that, that'll stay on. It will. So, Chris, what I'm hearing is if I can change a tire, anyone can change a tire, and they can learn from you at Nicolay College. You bet. Yep. And, hey, for all you folks at home saying hosting up north at four isn't a dirty job, think again. Chris, I appreciate it. I, I feel like a man now, finally. <laughs> We're going to be back on up north at four.